start with my main shade. It's gonna literally like almost like slop it on because it doesn't really matter because we're about to blend it all. I get it relatively in the right spot. The more condensed side of your brush then cover up some areas that I just want to extra cover and you push into your skin. So then I'll take my highlight color lighter as we go this way. So I'm gonna take, that's what I used first. Now I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna take it kind of in that leave near my eyes. And so I even go a little lighter sometimes. The lightest I, I go, I wanna say this is white peach, but your highlight shade's gonna be your lighter shade, right? And I grab my contour. So this is gonna be this dark ashy color, kind of the top of your ear right here. And you kind of angle down and you do not go past the middle of your eye. So you're gonna, and I go up with mine. Some people go down, but I like to go up because that's where I want all the lines to go is up. So it creates this illusion of like cheekbones. Went a little high on mine today, but I'm gonna show you that if you go too high, you can blend it out because all of this is blendable. I have a tiny little face. I still like to blend up here. And then you go on your jawbone too. So I just take the excess and throw here. The place you're gonna contour is people contour right here to get you skinny nose. And I'll be honest, this brush blends so well that you almost don't even have to do anything else. Or I don't put on my blush until I've blended everything. I'm just not good enough to get all of that like in the right spot and not have pink all over my face. Then I take my large end of the buffer brush, which is what I use to apply, and I just use it for my highlight areas. And I just push, push, push into the skin. I mean, look at that. Like, how easy is that? It's amazing. Coverage is seriously like nothing I've ever put on my face. And it's so light because you see it's one layer. It's not like building on building on building on layers, right? So foundation and then putting bronzer over it. And then, cause I tried to contour with bronzer and it's not, you're not gonna be able to do it because it's a totally different color. Like a contour is an ashy color. Whereas a bronzer is like where the sun hits you. Contour is gonna be where the shadows hit you. So it accents your feature it should stand out like your eyes and your t-zone now look a little skeleton like to look alive i need to add some blush so i'm going to show you how you can apply too much blush and then it will blend right out. i'm going to use sangria like i'm going to put oh my gosh like I look like a clown right how am i going to be able to deal with this this is not okay so what you do is you just buff like you just buff it into your skin and you keep doing that you are happy and so like this brush i love because it's the bronzer and i don't know what brush but the bronzer something and you just i mean like look how beautiful that is so this will give you the super light coverage and this will give you kind of that medium coverage just kind of blend it out i mean it really is foolproof like you just go in circles and it blends right out the product i absolutely love is this bella bronzer this is where you're going to put it so here, here, see I can show you where like, oops, you see that? I'm like, oop, too much, but I'm gonna just literally blend. It's where the sun hits you. So your forehead, your cheeks, and right here. So like in the winter months, you don't have to look so pale. And then I just throw it down here to blend. And I had my main shade, highlight shade, and contour, and then I added blush and bronzer, and it really does perfects that highlight and contour saint look last part of this look is the setting powder it literally sets it to where it doesn't move it is just a sheer powder i just you just tap i'm just gonna tap all over if i wanted to make it a little lighter i would kind of blend like that but i don't want to because i like the way this looks today the thing we can do is we can take one of our blush shades and put it on our lips my very favorites on my lips is hollywood and you just, it gives you a little bit of almost like stain without stain. It just kind of stays on all day. It's not like a dewy finish. because I'm already really oily. So I like my blush to be more of their satin sheen. So you get the semi-gloss or the gloss and it will be more glossy on your lips as well. It will be more dewy on your cheeks. Mm -hmm.